Lots of patience and communications, <laughs> my brothers, is what yeah. Cleta says. Bro, delegation is hard. And shout out my assistant Jay Z's on here. Um, and because I'm an awful delegator, I'm like Jay Z, bro. I just need to figure it out. Like, <laughs> like I, I don't do an SOP. I don't know do anything. Mm-hmm. Like Jay Z, I love you, dude. Do this, handle it, and then you create the SOP, please. And yeah, it does it, but it doesn't always work that way. Uh huh. It doesn't always work because, like, for a lot of people, when you are delegating, you need to give them a roadmap to do it because uh-huh. they're so used to working in a corporate world where corporates, everybody tries to be corporate, right? Everybody hates corporate. The corporate has figured out their shit works. Mm-hmm. Their shit runs like a process, like system. Uh huh. But that's not where I'm there, and that's why I have an assistant. But as we've, as me and Chase have grown, we were really, really, really shitty at delegating at the beginning. Mm-hmm. So if we're just like getting going, and I still need to get better at it, like imagine, I just think back a year ago before I kept telling you, delegate, 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 mm-hmm. delegate. Mm-hmm. Like, oh no, I gotta do it. I, I, I gotta do it. Yeah. <sighs> just gotta find better ways to get it done. Find better ways. Make more work less. <laughs> I'm delegating everything. <laughs> I'm a fat guy. I'm delegating everything. But they, their entire business runs, bro. Like yeah. they both went back. They both work because they're like, well, what else would I do? Yeah. They would they wouldn't have anything else to do. Aaron quit. I was with Aaron two times a I week and she was stopped. I'm bored. Yeah. I'm we'll bored. I'm working. going back to work. Yeah, that's hilarious. But that's really where you want to be. <laughs> but it's different. Be careful going back though. I mean, well, they they had a different line of work too. So theirs is similar to coaching in a way, but yeah, um, they kind of run the whole thing. You know what I mean? So you're able to dictate a lot of the things that you know, in other jobs, you can't necessarily dictate that environment. Well, and well, if you leave work and you're financially free and then you come back, that's, you have a lot of leverage or someone tells you, like, bitch, no. But honestly, that's what that's that's what's tough. It's because you because you do, <laughs> you know, and on the back as soon as something pisses you off in the back of your mind, you're like, I don't fucking need this. I don't need this. I don't, shit. I don't know, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end up in jail. You know what I mean? Because like I, I you now you have no problem speaking how you feel like because you would hold a lot in because of the fear of being let go or upsetting the wrong person and then what happens if i lose my job and da, da, da. well when you ain't worried about losing no job based off of financial reasons some piss you off you're gonna say something about it and i think that <laughs> that's 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 the net that's the downfall of going back to a job sometimes is because now you don't the thing that was technically holding you there before Ain't holding you there now. It's just your passion is that that's bringing you back, and so when it's not when you're not being fulfilled in that aspect, you have no problem speaking up on it. 